Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Sit Back with Saheli. I'm so excited to introduce you to the wonderful Karishma from My Dahlia Cakes and the wonderful Jazz from Kudos. Hi guys, how are you both doing? Good, good, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, well, welcome yeah. to the show. I'm so excited to have you both here. We really wanted to get to know both your businesses better and also just more about what it's like being married in the industry. Um, so we're going to start <laughs> off with Karishma. Yeah. Um, first of all, tell us a little bit about My Dahlia Cakes. How did it start? Um, right, so um, it's obviously um, a wedding cake company. Um, it started about six years ago now. I always look at him like he's going to tell me that that's wrong, but yeah, about six years ago now. Um, and yeah, we just work predominantly in the Asian market, but in some other markets. And um, yeah, it's just me basically baking and doing what I love. And day. did you always imagine that you were going to go into baking? No. So I started, well, I had quite a normal job uh, for a number of years working in the city and just found it really dull and really boring um, and then when I met Jazz who's in the wedding trade it kind of yeah. made sense for me to do something that was more aligned to him because we never really so saw each other. So were you married before you started the business or? Um, it sort of happened at the same sort of time we didn't it? We started the business. Well we got married. <laughs> I made, made my own <laughs> wedding yeah, cake yeah, and so <laughs> we, I was doing it before. She had nothing else to do for me. No I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, then I made my own wedding cake, which was a bit of a silly move, but it kind of started from there, really. Oh my gosh, how did, how, um, how did you actually set up your wedding cake on the day? No, she didn't set it up. Her brother I had to go set and set it up. up. My brother um, had that task, um, but literally that was the only thing I did at the wedding, was the wedding okay. cake, because he obviously did, obviously did everything else. Um, so I had a lot of free time, and I was like, hmm, I'll just make... Yeah. <laughs> and um, obviously Jazz um, Kudos is one of the biggest DJ companies yeah. within the industry, and yeah, that yeah. must make you feel so proud. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a great achievement. I've seen, like, I've been doing this a long time. So for me, this, this is my 18th year in the industry, even though I'm young, oh um, like relatively young. <laughs> um, so I started when I was like a normal young DJ would do like a roadie. Um, I started at all the normal companies. So I used yeah. to work for like Calibre, I used to work for Ritzy, I used to work for Sting. So these were people that kind of taught me and brought me into the kind of industry. So at 14, and I've seen massive changes. So when like my partner um, H, um, we decided to, you know, do our own thing. I left uni and I was like, you know, we can't just be DJs. Let's kind of do our own thing. We had a different spin on how we wanted to do it. And the industry in the last ten years, um, it's massively changed and it's gone from being a, just DJs to, um, you know, full out AV and production. Well, this is actually wanted yeah. to say for you, mm. obviously branched out. You do a lot with AV, and we mm -hmm. see some incredible, but also quite crazy. Productions, Things, yeah, yeah. Like some they're not my fault, they're Hades' fault. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's been the craziest? How did that all start? Um, I think it comes from Indians coming up to you and saying, <laughs> I don't want what the, he had, but you no, know, I don't. A lot of people, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's for us, it's, it's great because when you meet a client that gives you the ability, probably like yourself and like, like Krishna as well, that comes up to you and says, Oh, you know. Firstly, we have the budget, which is always nice to have. Um, and secondly, they want to go out of the box and you know let you be creative and it makes the job more fun. So it gives you that job satisfaction. And then we're like, cool, we've got this client who's up for something different. Yeah. And it's, it's all down to, I don't know, bringing loads of different elements in now. You know, for mm -hmm. us it started with lighting, then it's set and stage, and then it's, you know, design and print and, all these other bits and factors. And a lot of things. Yeah, Which yeah. Is why I can um, imagine why he obviously planned a lot of the wedding because he would have met a lot of people by then. Yeah. And to be fair, it was the easiest thing I ever did it. because it was me phoning five people that are my friends and saying, it's my wedding, you need to sort it out. And you told me it was really true. Like, yeah, yeah, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I was up, planning my stag was hard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no joke here, yeah, but um, it was, um, to be fair, because the, the trusted people that I used the usual suspects in the industry for our wedding, um, and to me, it was like even like Zibby, um, um, who done the decor from Dream Occasions. Um, we had like our catering companies, and like you know, they just dealt with it. I just said yeah. to them, "You could deal with it," and because they knew it's an industry wedding. Um, I think they put a little bit more effort, right? I think so, it was pressure as well, because yeah. yeah. they knew all the industry was going to be guests as well. So Definitely. it was easy. Um, so but. tell us a little bit about the craziest wedding you think you've done. The craziest. Um, I think there's so many now. We were, like we done one on the weekend. Like Krishna was, I wasn't part of it, but it was incredible. Like these guys done this wedding on the weekend, and mm. we done one where, um, you know, there was a, a Venetian themed event where we flew our guys out to Italy, yeah. um, and we done like a, a hundred foot screen in Grosvenor House. 
that was like seamless screen. Um, and we sent our own team out because we've got to have our own design team. So we sent our own videography team out. They took all the scenes um, from Venice, um, moving scenes and recreated mm -hmm. that. And then in front of that, we had a water fountains going up. We had like a, a bridge we created into the dance floor. It was, a, that it was, was really good. It's really amazing yeah. how different Grover House can look. With yeah, yeah. Every time, yeah. Literally. Uh, Krishma, you make some really like crazy <laughs> cakes too. And I just don't understand how you get your inspiration and like where like all these ideas are coming from. Well, it's kind of like Jazz said, some of it is the client sort of giving you the ideas, which is fantastic and yeah. giving, pushing you to sort of do something different and wacky and a bit unlike anything else anyone's ever seen, um, which is always a little bit <laughs> scary. Um, but yeah, and sometimes ideas literally just pop into your head when you're just chilling out and relaxing and or you see something and you kind of go, oh, that would be fantastic. And we quickly do a sketch or write it down and then somehow translate it into a cake. Um, but yeah, the water fountain, there was an event we did with the water fountain and the cake in the middle of it. And that was just That like, looked amazing. Like, oh, have yeah. seen that on your Instagram? Yeah, yeah. Quite scary. I didn't believe it was a cake for yeah. so long. It, it was, was meant to be a kind of a disguised we, cake. We will actually put this picture <laughs> up so you can have a look too. It's um, all my idea. <laughs> That's the camera to look at, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so obviously you both are married. Um, you said for about six years? Yeah, six okay. years, yeah. And, um, how has that been? Your ridiculous schedules, you're obviously, you know, both very much in demand. How do you both make it work, especially during summer? To be fair, it, yeah, when she worked in the city mm. and I worked in the wedding industry, it was worse because yeah. I was busy on the weekends, wow. she was busy in the week, and then you're just crossing, crossing each, other each other and, yeah, yeah. like, oh, hi, we're married. Like, yeah. Like, I know you, <laughs> I think. Stranger. But now, it's because her office is in our, our building so she's always me, bugging me he's quite mean no. at work so yeah you wouldn't even know no, that I'm I was his wife like, at work <laughs> I, I'm work being in it but uh, <laughs> no no I mean generally it's now because we're on events together um, yeah we get to see each schedules. other at events and we, yeah. we our schedules and are and now we both wake up late because that's the beauty of being yeah. in the industry yeah. <laughs> industry definitely yeah. <laughs> Um, you got us up early today. No, I know. You know what? Thank you. Like, you'll, you'll be thanking me later. <laughs> um, so actually, I was telling one of these suppliers um, that are going to be on the show um, that you both were going to be guests, and they were like, "Oh my gosh, they're like the the, the kind of idea of our industry." <laughs> um, oh, I wish. Would you guys compare yeah, yourselves? You um, <laughs> to, to, to them. I don't know about that. If you had to be a celebrity couple, who guys? Who would you both? You know. I'll be someone think? short because I'm like. Five five. Like so I'll be like, no, so different. Um, now we'll yeah. stick with Posh and Bex. That yeah, that's a good choice. Yeah. Good choice. <laughs> that. Okay, so I'm we're joking. actually going to make you play a little game. Yeah, um, yeah. It's really exciting because you both get to win a wonderful. Well, no, you both. Don't Ooh, get to I was going to say. Only no. the winner gets to win. If we were two separate companies, would we get two boxes? No. Oh. no. We so are. Two separate companies. Oh yeah, we're married. I mean. I thought, she, that's what she, I thought she was trying to get, get us out and giving us two boxes. Yeah, so, both right, of you will get one. Um, so, you're both going to be fighting for this, okay, right? Cool. The rules of the game are um, obviously we have to incorporate cakes. Yeah. Um, but we have to think of a way to incorporate some PJ. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you're both going to get a set of fairy cakes. Yeah. But because you're married, I thought it'd be way more fun if you were working together. Okay. So, using my wonderful hair tie, I'm going to join your hands yeah. and you both have to make a piece of DJ equipment on this table with your fairy cakes. Oh, wow. Okay? You have <laughs> one minute. Yeah. I'm going to grab these cakes for you. The person who used the most of their cakes wins. Oh, oh so you have to make your own. Because you're obviously joined at the hand. Oh, but we're making our separate. You're making it together. So it's one thing. Yeah. Okay. You get yeah. it? Okay, so I've got to get all my cakes. No, it's together, it's a joint project. Yeah, but yeah. you're both going to have your own set of fairy cakes. Yeah, so, so these are Krishna's oh, putting, your, her, putting her hand to use her okay, fairy cool. cakes, and we're going to have an issue, right? All right, cool. <laughs> so okay. I get it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get it, we're just going to. No, yeah, so then do she it can again. have the box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so we're going to get these fairy cakes, and we're going to start. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have my team on time, so they're going to count us down. Right. They'll let us know when you have 10 seconds left, and then we're going to shoot into our rapid fire round. Okay, All right, cool. Oh, thank These are you. for you. All right. Oh. <laughs> this is not. This is a bit dangerous. Yeah. It is going to be dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What oh, are you going to make? No, but you get your right hand. That's not fair. You're going to swap. I'm going to just. Okay. Okay. I can okay. Just do it now. You no. understand the rules of the game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're both tied. What do you, make? you both have to use as many cakes. I on purpose actually left it in the tray because it's okay. even harder. Okay. Um, can I use this hand? 
No, oh, that's the, oh, oh, you can't use this pattern. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Oh, what, so you can use only this pattern? Oh, I And you see. both have to work together to create oh, a piece it. of DJ equipment. Got okay. it. Got it? Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. So we're going to have a bit of fun. So we've set one minute on the clock. Jazz, Karishma, go. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so we know what we're making, right? What are you making? Um, he just told me to make a deck and I don't actually know what Make it in a circle. So I'm just making Go, you take your cakes out first then. Yeah, but you're making Oh, right. I'm supposed to do mine as well. Yeah. Here, come. Teamwork, teamwork. Well, you should give it a bit. I'll eat my one. Oh, <laughs> 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 Don't forget. I'll get enough of cake, the, mate. I don't want to eat cake. Do you, do you still eat cake? I eat cake all the time. You have warm cake at the house. That's the benefit he, of... He makes me bake him warm cake at, like, 12 o'clock at night. Um, and I can't really know. Now, give me that middle one. No, no. no Make it bigger. That's the spike thing. The spike thing? I like, literally just look like it's just a little bit. It's gonna look sick. Watch. I'm a bit worried. It looks like a cue. Hang yeah. on. Just get the th things out. Right. Okay, yeah, so make it in a circle. Right. So that's your circle. That's your round thing. See that he's quite bossy. <laughs> that's the middle bit. That's the needle. Oh, it's just a circle. Yeah, watch, watch, watch. Oh, watch, watch, watch. So we stop yeah. here. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> You actually told her to take all her cakes out before you. This now look. kind of looks like, you know that like icon like a... for a female on the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it kind of looks Now like explain that. to you what it is. So basically, <laughs> this is the deck, the record platter. This is the middle bit yeah. where you put the oh, thing okay, on. Okay, and that's the needle yeah, now, that you put yeah. down on the thing. So it's like a record thing. Like thing. I would have probably gone for like a mic. She that's did say mic. Uh, yeah, that would have been so easy. Or even headphones. Headphones could have been sick. You could have told us this at the start. Well, then it would have been too easy. So who gets the cake So, down? Karishma, you definitely are the winner <laughs> of the Sahili Events box today. This is for you. Open it. You can share it with him yeah. if you want. Get this it's off okay. you, man. He won't yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're going to move on to the rapid fire round, which gives Maya and, Karish Maya and Karishma? Jazz and Karishma um, 10 to 15 seconds each to answer each question on my list. And it's also okay. a nice way for us to just get to know you a bit better. Okay. okay? Cool. So tell yeah. me when you're ready. Who's going first? You. Me. Oh, first. oh, yeah. Ready? ready. Okay. Favourite cake flavour? Uh, coconut and raspberry. If you could make a cake for any celebrity, who would it be? Oh, um, ooh. Um, who's the lady that does countdown the numbers? Rachel Riley. I'm obsessed with her. Something you love about jazz. Mm -hmm. Everything. Sense of humour. Something about jazz you don't really love. He's very sweaty. Am I? He's quite a hot person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, you've been told to make a Disney themed wedding cake and you get to choose one fairy tale. Which fairy tale is it? Um, Dumbo. No, that's I'm not a fairy you. tale, Dumbo. is it? Cinderella. Favourite junk food? Um, uh, chocolate covered pretzels. What would your DJ name be? <laughs> you can you can answer that for me. Um, I don't know. I think some of it. <laughs> oh no! Um, <laughs> I'm looking at you. I don't know. Rapid fire. Ah, <laughs> something okay. cake related. Okay. While know. you think about it, make the face of the emoji that describes you best. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Jazz. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Favourite flavour of cake that Krishma makes? Um, the coconut one. To your best choice of the last song at the wedding reception? Uh, either Let's Get Married by Jagged Edge, uh, Oasis Wonderwall, or um, Wonderwall. Original Nutter, if it's a good crowd. <laughs> <laughs> um, when was the last time you bought Krishma flowers? Mm, oh. I bought buy a flower for the cakes, if that counts. <laughs> okay. Um, if you had to choose a nine to five job, what would it be? Uh, working for kudos. Great. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, what would you get arrested for? Um, being a. Can I tell something that I've been arrested for? Or that was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, what have I been arrested for? I, I don't think I can say that on camera. Um, no, not what you've been arrested for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, <laughs> man. Um, for being such a good DJ. Oh, <laughs> all the DJs at Kudos, who wouldn't you mind being stuck in the lift with and why? Uh, not Rajiv B, because he does my night in. Uh, who wouldn't mind staying in the lift with? Nah, to be fair, None of them. they're all cool, man. Uh, probably 
Chonks, largely, he's a good laugh. Okay, and you said, I was actually going to ask you who you'd hate to be stuck in a lift with, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, Rajiv, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Um, what Bollywood song makes you want to jump on the dance floor and join the crowd? Bollywood song? Um, da -da 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 -da. That old, you know that, oh, oh, Johnny, Johnna. <laughs> I love that. That's, I, I love don't know why I love that. Yeah, yeah. Great song. Yeah, I like great that. Song. I played that on the weekend. Make yeah, the yeah. face of the emoji that describes you best. Um, there's that new one now, isn't it? Though? Don't do new what one. The finger like that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you did that earlier before we even <laughs> yeah, got the camera, so fair. And if you were a girl, what would your name be? Just breathe. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so your rapid fire round is obviously over. Um, and yeah. just before we obviously finish, I want to have three tips from you, and I also want you both um, to think of a question to ask me. So, um, Krishna, let's start with your first three tips for our potential couples out there. Um, the first one would probably be. Um, try really hard not to stress out in the planning um, stage of the event because we meet a lot of brides and grooms who just get really really stressed out and they kind of forget to enjoy it yeah. um, it's quite a shame because it happens so fast and the day's over so fast um, the second one would be to book wonderful suppliers who you know that you can <laughs> trust um, but I think that is a key thing because if you can trust people yeah. and you can leave things in their hands 100%. You feel way more relaxed naturally. exactly um, and the third thing uh, would be don't start too early because I meet a lot of brides and grooms who start almost two years early. I and know actually but the thing is long. they kind of do because of priests and venues so they yeah. also don't really have a lot of choice but we'll look into that. Yeah, yeah. we'll speak to them about that for sure. Jazz, your three tips. So I'm gonna give like party tips as a from a DJ Go perspective. <laughs> do not put your bar outside of the room when you're DJing because it's, yeah, it's a DJ's he's, nightmare. He's it's like I took all my fans. It actually is a nightmare. Yeah 100%. but your party's not good just letting you know like put your your deep bar inside um enjoy your party like literally don't be the bride and groom that doesn't dance because the energy yeah. comes from the bride and groom i uh, always find if the bride and groom are you know on the dance floor their families on the dance floor, the energy spreads to everybody mm. um and it's you always look around when you've got a wicked bride and groom your party is always a good um and finally i would say um not do too many dances and loads of speeches. And, <laughs> and then tell me to oh, put this light on and this stuff. Such a grinch. <laughs> Is that the party happened? He just wants to DJ yeah, a party yeah. right? Okay, yeah, so no, I'd, I'd say to people, look, in, enjoy the process and don't... Mm. I, th I see too many people now because they've invested so much money into it. I get it. Um, but, you yeah. know, on the day, don't... Be, I see bride and groom's walking and they're like looking around oh is my table centre pieces like this you know oh what's gosh, happened there's nothing you can change yeah. um, get a good planner and yeah. you make sure that you ever got that stress um, but come in and enjoy the enjoy it because you know you paid so yeah. much money for six hours Definitely. so enjoy it mm. thank you both and what question would you like to ask me you go first Oh, do we get a question each? Yeah. I mean, I wasn't meant to, but yeah, no, no, we want to. We want to. You've been asking us all these questions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can pull it loose now. Oh my um, gosh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I feel scared now. Okay. Make something at moment. Um, uh, something that I get asked quite a lot is how I think you already asked me how I started, but it'd be interesting to hear how you got into event planning and what your journey was. So I actually I, I love planning events, but I really didn't think I was going to start this business so soon, nor did I imagine it happening the way it has. I studied marketing and advertising, had every intention to go into advertising, and my summer job, which was at Meridian Grand, um, turned into a two-year job, and it basically um, made me just love it so much that I was like, oh. I'm ready to just go, go for it, and I just jumped, pretty much. Oh. That's in a nutshell how it happened. Um, but it's been quite a quick journey. I've only mm. had the business for about 18 months. Oh, wow. Um, so it's still, you know, still learning and it's still... Mm -hmm. oh. Jazz, shoot. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I question. get what it means. It's all <laughs> being on that seat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should think about this. So, as you mentioned that you, it's kind of new for you now. Yeah. So I know that I've, like, I've been doing this a long time. So I've seen things change massively. And 100%. I've been in the day when there was no such thing as a wedding planner yeah. um, mm. because the caterer kind of was the wedding planner. Um, have you found coming into the industry and do you think that coming into an Asian industry 
do you think that there's things that now you didn't expect or you expected it to be warm? Has it been a warm introduction or have you found it to be pretty hard Honestly, to Honestly, it's in? been horrible. Yeah. Like I oh. have meetings and it was in, like, in, a, in a way that I kind of expected. Yeah. I've had introductions with um, caterers and decorators who have basically met me because of the introduction and said, Faye we're just going to tell you now we hate wedding planners. Yeah. <laughs> so I have it, ha I've had it really hard. I've had to really prove myself to them um, to kind of show that value. And I know that planners all do their things very differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's all about respecting the suppliers, not stepping on their toes and just um, like making sure that they know you're working with them, not against. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think a lot of the times they kind of see you as another bride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So making sure they kind of see that you're having fun with them too. We're trying to make their life easier. Um, so they can focus just on their roles. If they are the caterer, they can focus on those, you know, food service times yeah. um, or the, the venue, focus on the venue element and let us, um, you know, just basically make sure the bride and groom are relaxed. Um, yeah. So yeah, but Charles Krishma, thank you so much for being no on the show. I'm so thank glad you. to have had you here. Um, I hope you guys have a great wedding season ahead and um, we'll hopefully see you soon. Thank you Ricky, so much. Thanks for Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn on your notifications. See you next month.